Happy New Year, everybody, and welcome back to the Danjin. This time around, we're going to check out a new monitor from Acer. This one's called the Concept D. Stick around. Hey guys, thanks again for joining me. 2022 is here, and Acer sent me a monitor to review called the Concept D. It's a 24 inch monitor that's targeted towards content creators and those that want to game on a lifelike color full HD monitor. The Concept D is a 24 inch monitor with a maximum re resolution of 1920 by 1200. It has an aspect ratio of 16 by 10. The contrast ratio is 1000 to 1. It has a 1 millisecond response time. And there's a color support of 1.07 billion. We're going to give this monitor a uh, chance to kind of run through some of the uh, processes here that I use in the Danjin to film my videos. And I'll show you guys once I get it set up right here on my desktop. We'll be using it with my Mac Mini and we'll also use it with my PlayStation 5 to give you guys a good out outlook of what this monitor can handle. The last monitor I reviewed was a 4K monitor. This one is a little bit more affordable and it's at $399 price point depending on where you pick it up. This monitor is supposed to have super accurate color so I think it'll be great. It also supports 350 nits, so it should be just fine for a well-lit office area. It is a backlit monitor, and it has a one millisecond response time, so if you do feel like gaming on it, um, it should work out pretty well. It has a display port, an HDMI port, and four USB ports. So let's get this thing unboxed. We'll go through what comes in the box, what the monitor looks like, and we'll get it set up and started so you guys can see the review. Thanks again for sticking around and welcome back to the Danjin. Alright guys, let's take a look at what the Concept D CM2241W has in the box. You start off with some Concept D literature as well as a uh, card that you can use for quick reference. You have your monitor color calibration testing report hopefully you guys can see this i'll hold it up here give you an idea what it says there within the cellophane but it pretty much gives you your rgb calibrations of this monitor as long as, as well as like the gray levels and grayscale tracking so pretty cool to have if you need this stuff to be um, very accurate with your color calibration it also includes an hdmi 2.0 cable a USB cable, your power cable to run the monitor, the monitor stand, nice, looks like a um, like an oak uh, wood finish, uh, has your locking tab here that you pull out, twist as you put the monitor uh, hole into the stand, and then this is the monitor hole itself, brushed aluminum look. Seems pretty simple, rather easy to use, just like the last monitor I reviewed with some different colors. So that's what comes in the box. Next, let's get the monitor in the view here so you can see what the ports look like. So on the bottom of the monitor, you have your two HDMI 2.0 ports, your display port, your headphone jack, your two USB ports, your power, and your power switch. Here we have the toggle buttons, the power button, and the monitor selection buttons. Here's an up close view of the screen, just a matte finish, as you can see, very similar to the last Acer monitor we reviewed as well. The only difference is this is a full HD monitor and it does not have 
120 hertz or 140 hertz support. It's 75. Let's get this set up and test it out. All right, guys, welcome back. I have the monitor all set up now, as you can see. The Concept D. This is my workstation. So over here I have my Mac Mini and what uh, the processing unit that I use for all of my videos and editing. Over here I have a Windows computer as well as my uh, work desktop and my iPad. Right now this is plugged into my work computer so you can get an idea on a Windows platform of the settings of the monitor. Right here the display resolution 1920 by 1200 which is the recommended setting. If I go into advanced scaling settings it doesn't really let me do anything per se. but I just wanted to give you an idea. Now we can go to Windows HD color settings. And what it's telling us here is that the display, the CM2241W, cannot stream HDR video with it or use HDR or WCG. I do have it optimized for image quality all in all, a very nice looking monitor. It is 1080p, it is 24 inches corner to corner. It has an LED status light at the bottom. Two HDMI ports, one display port, two USB ports. I also have it set up with my PlayStation 5, so I'll show you that. Get an idea of how games look on this. It is a 75 hertz refresh rate. Now let's take a look at the monitor system menu. You access that just like the last monitor I reviewed in the bottom right hand corner behind the screen. You'll see that it lists the modes, the brightness, and the input that's currently being used. If you press it again, it enlarges that image and you can scroll through things such as the picture, the color, the audio, because this has two 2 watt speakers, along with the performance mode, which gives you the ability to access adaptive sync, overdrive, refresh rate number, VRB, and ultra low latency. The OSD has the uh, language set as English right out of the box and all of the other settings that you're normally used to. And the final setting is System, which gives you the ability to select input, select auto source, your display, uh, display port format, your hotkeys. I'm sorry, it does time out on me here, so sorry about that. It also allows you to choose things like your black level, your DDC, and a quick start mode. Let's check out the black level. If I put it at low or normal. Didn't see too much change. We'll keep it at normal. Let's see how bright this guy gets. Pretty nice. Easily brightens up so you can see it in probably most light settings. All in all, a very nice monitor. 24 inches is more than enough to do some quality video editing. The last monitor I reviewed was a 28. That was just fine as well. And check out Acer's official site. You'll see that Concept D is right here on the left-hand side as soon as you jump in. 
We'll select monitors. And here we are, the second one down. So it looks like there's two options. One is a 27 inch for $299, and the other is a 24 inch for $399. This is the monitor we are looking at right now. Let's check out some of the tech specs. Like I had mentioned before, response time 1 millisecond, viewing angle 178 degrees. It is wall mountable with the VESA. It has IPS technology. It's 350 nits of brightness, a so 1 millisecond response time. WUXGA. 1920 by 1200 resolution. It has an adjustable display angle. You can tilt it from minus 5 degrees to 25 degrees. It is height adjustable. I'll show you here. Up and down. Very easy. And you can pivot towards you, away from you. The standard refresh rate is 75 hertz. It does have 1.07 billion colors. The contrast ratio is 100 million to 1 on ACM or 1,001 on your native contrast ratio. It does have adaptive sync and display port VRR, variable refresh rate. It is an LCD screen type, the IPS WUXGA with LED backlit, aspect ratio 1610. Two speakers, two watts each, stereo mode, all of your display ports, your HDMI ports, power consumption, colors, and your length, width, height, etc. Now let's check out the PlayStation 5. That, we will go into input. And HDMI 1 should pop up. There you have it with your adjusting display area. Everything looks good there. Rocket League. Nice looking color accuracy. No HDR. Hopefully the camera is picking up a pretty good resolution as well as colors so you guys have an idea. We'll do some training. Very quick response time. Let's go into the PlayStation menu and see what we're outputting as far as resolution. Go up here into settings, screen and video, video output information, 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. The, uh, the uh, resolution mode is set to automatic. HDR is off. Let's turn it to always on. And like I had mentioned before, this monitor does not support HDR. Everything else is set to automatic. The 
The response time seems just fine. Uh, like it did mention, it's at 60 hertz. So not its fully capable 75. But not entirely what the monitor was meant for. I'll show you in a second when I hook it up to my Mac, or to my Mac Mini what it's really meant for, which is content creation and affordability. It's a nice large monitor, 24, with plenty of features along with super accurate color, and I should say standard definition color. Let's check out one more game. The response seems real good. You can tell it's 1900 by 1200 because the image seems just a tad bit taller. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are super familiar with the differences of 1920 by 1080 and 1920 by 1200 that often, but in this you can pretty much tell the image looks a little bit different going in the upright direction. Um, not a complaint, just a speculation. The colors look real good in this. Matter of fact, I prefer, I prefer to play Call of Duty without HDR. Um, things still pop out really nice. The reds the blues, the different types of highlighted colors seem much na much more natural on this monitor. The plywood looks like plywood. The skin tones, the metal that has a slight refraction with light seems really nice. Even the doorknob has like a brass look to it. The speed is, is more than quick with the one millisecond. As you can see, it's very fast, super responsive. No complaints on the speed of this monitor whatsoever. Obviously, I would love it if it was 120 hertz for gaming, but not all games even have 120 hertz, so not a big deal, especially for a nice affordable monitor. All right, let's take a look at the Mac now. Here you can see some of the content I'm creating. Great color color accuracy looks real good on the uh, on the Mac. Let's turn off the lights in the dungeon and see what it looks like with no surrounding light. First, we'll turn off the desktop lamp. Hey, Google, turn off every light. Then we'll turn off the surrounding lights. Very bright, very comfortable view. Very sharp resolution as well. Looking through all the detail, the color is super accurate in the videos that I've taken with the GoPro. Good looking monitor. I'm going to use this for the next couple of weeks for my content creation. If I have any updates on the monitor, I'll 
surely let you guys know, but if you are in the market for a affordable piece of equipment, this is definitely one I would recommend. Thanks for tuning into the video, guys. I'd like to extend my thanks to Acer for letting me borrow this Concept D monitor. I will be using it for the next couple of weeks to try out my video editing skills, let you know how the color accuracy is. But from what I've experienced today and in this review, I think it is a very, very nice monitor. I'd recommend it if you're in the price point of $399 um, or, or below, depending on where you can purchase the unit. If you are into content creation like I am, it is more than enough to handle all of the needs uh, that need to be met with programs like iMovie, Photoshop, or just your simple Apple Photos. This is a very good looking monitor, has plenty of inputs for all your devices. As, as you've seen, I ran the Windows computer along with the Mac and the PlayStation 5, all plugged in through the connections on the back of the monitor. If you guys like this video and you want to see some more, let me know down below in the comments. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If you haven't liked or subscribed to any of my videos, I recommend you check out the channel. Every subscription helps. I'm trying to grow. I have some more content coming uh, as soon as I can possibly put it out. I really love making videos for you guys and I'm glad that you guys seem to enjoy it as well. Here's to a exciting 2022 and much more content here at the Dangen. Thanks for sticking around.